Hey everybody, we're uh, talking with uh, H2 water experts about hydrogen in the body and how that affects your health and what your body can do to produce more hydrogen or how you get more hydrogen in your system. Today's going to be really powerful if you guys want to just let us know where you're from. Uh, do you have any questions regarding hydrogen or any questions regarding water? Definitely. Um, Shane will be bringing you up in a minute. Uh, let's let everybody get in here first. So uh, if you guys can do us a favor, click and uh, yeah, give us a bunch of likes. Um, and also send this to yourself or send it to a couple friends on that little arrow on the bottom, little triangle. Press that, uh, send it out to a few friends. When you do that, it trips the algorithm. We get a better uh, following. So uh, we're definitely, put down where you're from. Hey Sweden, hey Seattle, <clears throat> Western Pennsylvania, Kansas City. Guys, uh, if we have time today, we're going to be answering some questions as well. And uh, we're just letting everybody kind of get in the room here. Guatemala, yes. All right, Buffalo and you. Is that Buffalo, New York? Or is that Buffalo somewhere that's new? I'm from Pennsylvania. Yeah, Pennsylvania is growing. We have lots of people out there. Um, <clears throat> hey, Gary, again from LA. Hey, in LA. Yeah, I'm looking forward to going back to LA just to see what's changed. It feels like a war zone is down there now. Vancouver, Washington. Yeah, that's uh, where uh, <coughs> Cynthia's sister lives. Vancouver, Washington. Georgia Republic, awesome. Norway, actually uh, Norwegian uh, family name is Parnas. Uh, so we're going back to Norway for sure. Ireland, oh. Munich, Germany, <clears throat> wow. Okay, this is awesome. We get people from everywhere. Columbus, Ohio, Orange County in the house. Where in Orange County go? Orange County is pretty big and pretty, Palm Springs. Hey guys, uh, so come on in. We're going to be talking about, oh, I have a king of water machine for an eyes. Yeah, good, good conversation. Uh, ionization, ionization is great. Um, <clears throat> I think uh, we're going to be just talking about some of the truths in it. And the focus has been on other things other than the hydrogen. It's been on alkalinity, which really doesn't do anything. I mean, it tastes good. Okay, guys, so let's do this. Hello from Utah. Can you guys do me a favor? Give us a bunch of likes. Please hit the, give us a bunch of taps. Give us a, hey, from Croatia. Um, and in the taps here, also hit that little arrow. Send it out to your friend. Send it to yourself. Send it to your neighbor. Send it to somebody who's uh, even, not even online. From India, yeah, that's awesome too. Looking forward to seeing India. We're going to be going there this year, later on. <clears throat> okay, Beirut. Awesome. Okay, let's do this now. Let's go. I know there's a request here. Uh, it's a request. Okay. Waiting for Shane. He's going to pop up here. Yeah, just keep putting down where you're from and send it out, guys. We're going to, if you have any questions, um, please put them in the comments. Also, there are some questions. You can actually hit the question button on the bottom of your screen. And when you hit this, the question button on the bottom of your screen, it'll save the questions and we can answer them later. So if you do have a question you want it answered, make sure it's there. Hey Shane, how you doing? How was life back up in in Vancouver area? Uh, it's a little cloudy, it's a little rainy. It's definitely not as nice as Mexico, I can confidently say that. <laughs> right, right. Yeah, Mexico has been uh, Mexico has been pretty nice. Actually, we've had a little bit of rain here, but you know, it's it's funny because I <clears throat> the rain here just comes and it just dumps and then it goes away and it's sunny again. That's what I love. Yeah, no, so, I mean, yeah, you, you like you love the rain in Mexico. It's it's nice. Yeah, right. I love the rain in Vancouver for the first week yeah. when it starts, and then after yeah, that, then not, just... time rain is really nice. But winter time, uh, it's just you know, for me, I'm. I find them very dark sensitive. So, um, you know, I grew up in a northern Canada and, and, it, and I spent most of the uh, winters depressed, but I've worked through my depression. And I used to do that through working out. That was part of my, was part of my gym. That's probably why I was so big. Yeah, <laughs> uh, I'm, I'm at the gym five days a week uh, with, with my wife. And then um, she, we do our own home workouts and stuff, and then we do our fascial maneuvers every single night. No, that's a that's a non-negotiable. It, it's an absolute necessary uh, um, movement and part of our day, uh, and it just it, it helps when things start getting a little darker and less yeah. vitamin D coming in and. 
and things get a little depressing because you know it's it's January now. We don't really, you know, we don't we don't have Christmas to look forward to or anything like that. And so it's uh, yeah, it, it's the it's that you know sleepy part of the year that you got to just kind of get through. And and I can't tell you enough how much those movements really help us get through that. You know, it's it's incredible. Yeah, and and not just physically, you know. It's there. There's the obvious physical benefits that you see, but that's actually low on the list uh, of benefits that I get. It's the, the mental and spiritual and, and, and emotional benefits that I get personally. So let's uh, Shane. Let's quickly sync up. Anybody in the audience who want to yeah. do this with us? What we do is sync before every discussion, before every movement. You can take your right leg and put it over top of your left, or if you're standing, you can do that. Right hand underneath left armpit. Left hand on top, head to the left, body to the right. Okay, we're going to take six breaths in, everybody. We're going to do three through the mouth and three through the nose. And if you're doing this from afar, tell us how this makes you feel. It's pretty cool. So three, two, one, through the mouth, breathe in. Two, three, Through the nose. Two. Three. Awesome. <clears throat> what that does is it syncs up our energy. So at least Shane and I are on the same page here and it makes it work a lot faster. And for those of you out there, if uh, you did that sync up with us and you felt something change, put it in the comments. Let's let us know. So uh, just before we get started, you guys, Shane is from H2 Water Experts. Um, why we standardize with uh, H2 Water Experts as our partner is because we looked all around. We've been through every system that you can imagine. Um, I've been selling or, or working with water filters since the uh, since the actual late 80s, early 90s. I uh, started actually selling Amway water filters a long time ago, and they're a great filter yeah. too. Um, and, and I, you know, I, over the course of the years, I've had every water filter you can imagine. I've had every, every I've had Kangen a couple times. And, and what, I, what I found specifically was it wasn't always the actual technology in the filter. There's a lot to do with service, uh, a lot of other issues. But um, at the time, we were just trying to filter the water because the water was so crappy. But not even realizing at the time that the actual health benefits were what we're going to talk about today. So excited about bringing Shane in. If you have any questions, you can act, absolutely follow his profile, ask him questions directly. This guy has a world of knowledge. And, and, and what's funny is I don't learn too much from people when we're talking about these health situations because I've been doing it for so long. Um, I, I learned so much after talking with Shane each and every time. So I'm excited to see what we have to talk about today. Oh, hey. Yeah, I, it, you know what the funny thing is, is? I always feel the same way when I when I hang out with you and chat with you. I always I always learn something new and cool, and it's it's fun. I mean, it's a, it's always be learning. You know, I'm a, a, li a lifelong learner, and and there is there's lots to learn out there. That's that's for sure, and especially when it comes to water, uh, pH, and the alkalinity and stuff like that. Uh, there there's there yeah, there's a lot to be be said about that. So, um, yeah, thank you for having me on there on here. I'm super uh, excited that I'm one working with you guys, but two um, that you guys have the water machine and you're able to see that and feel and experience the technology for yourself. Oh. You're down in Mexico. Let me what, actually, let me tell you what happened. So we we came down here. We uh, we we swapped out our uh, Kangen that was here. We just put this one in, and I just I didn't say anything and just let everybody here who experienced who had experienced it. Experience mm -hmm. it. There was a remarkable difference, um, and I think it's I, I, actually why don't we actually just talk about that? I think King is a great, really great machine too. So yep. well, why would the, why would there be a difference between the way it actually tasted and felt in the body? Well, there's a, there's definitely there's a few different reasons for that. The first thing. First, and just to let anybody that's watching this know, I Kangen actually is how I got my start in this industry ten years ago. 
Uh, I had a Kangen SD501 uh, Platinum as it was the K8 wasn't out on the market yet. So I got the best that, that was available to us at, or at the time. And that's when I really started doing my actual research on this water, how it works and, and um, you know, what it's doing for your body. And I realized that the alkalinity and pH of the water really had no real benefit to the water real quick. Um, you know, now to answer your question about why, it, why the Alcaviva machine is different than the Kanga machine, again, it could be a number of different things. One of the first things that I learned about with the Enagic machines is they only filter out chlorine. Um, so they have one stage filtration, filtration. It could very well be because you didn't have the, uh, proper filtration. Although I don't believe that's the reason I saw underneath the sink and where the water is coming from. You guys have very, very yeah, good. We filter because we come off a well. Yeah. Uh, so no taste. So we filter before it goes into the machine on yeah. both of them. So it was filtered before it went in. So so, so what I would uh, what I would guess is that after it goes through the filtration, it's going through the remineralizing uh, filter that we have with the Alcaviva machine, right? That is my guess. That is that as as well as keeping the cathode uh, clean, which is absolutely absolutely key. When when it comes to ionized water, uh, because as soon as the calcium has any, uh, or sorry, as, as soon as the cathode has any calcium scaled onto it, any of the hydrogen that you were getting is gone. And at that point, you just have very nice tasting um, water, but it's not doing what you want okay. it to do for your health. Let's talk about that, okay? So, <clears throat> so why is, why, uh, we know that hydrogen heals. You can get it through water, you can get it through vapor, you can get it through an IV. You know that the body produces 10 liters of hydrogen per day. Yep. And um, we know that even with a mild amount of stress, that 10 liters uh, drops from to two to five liters. Yep. And with a large amount of stress, that, that is actually down to zip. So yep. one of the benefits initially is drinking the hydrogen. So let's, let's talk about how hydrogen is produced and, and, um, and why, let's, without getting too sciencey, let's just talk about quickly about why hydrogen is produced. Um, and what the benefit of it is. And, and, um, and then at, right after that, why is it that alkalinity goes along with hydrogen? Okay, okay. so yeah, that's, there's, a, there's a, a lot to that. Uh, and I'll try to keep it as, as lay, layman's terms as, as possible. Um, so the hydrogen created in your gut, let's talk about that one first. So yes, your body does create up to 10 liters of hydrogen uh, in, your, in your body every day. It has the ability to, but due to the foods that we eat, the drinks that we drink, the air that we breathe, the overall daily stress, that is not only reduced, but it is increased. Um, the amount of stress that we have, even the 10 liters, isn't enough to take care of that. So what happens when your body uses energy it creates uh, an exhaust to it. Let's just call it like that. I mean, let's compare it to like a car. You know, you're using energy inside your body. You're using fuel. And from that, an exhaust is created. And that exhaust comes in the form of three radicals. Most importantly, the hydroxyl radical. It, it, it's constantly being created in your body. And that is what hydrogen's job is to do, is to neutralize and and balance that free radical and what so this is you know because our hydrogen levels in our our, our endogenous are are in our body are not creating as much that's why supplementing with hydrogen has so many benefits for so many people long story short it's helping you reestablish and maintain a healthy balanced lifestyle that many people have lost and going back to the three different ways of, inha of ingesting hydrogen, out of inhaling, hydrogen-rich saline, and drinking, which one do you think is the most convenient? It's going to go with the drinking. And at the end of the day, no matter what, you're always going to need water. Water is the foundation to your health. If you, you can you know, eat all the food that you want, but if you're not hydrating yourself properly, you're not taking care of over half of the equation. Um, and so that obviously drinking 
or ingesting your hydrogen through properly purified water is going to be the best and most convenient way of, of getting hydrogen and reestablishing that balance. So, so, so we, so, um, now the way that we, uh, get water to currently through machines is through, uh, pushing up the pH and, yep. um, but a lot of people have issues. And I think this is actually one of the issues that might've been here is since the water was already filtered, it didn't have the minerals. <clears throat> so if I've got a, if I've got a ionizer, it doesn't matter what kind it is. And I'm in an area like Vancouver, which has virtually no minerals in the water, which is bizarre. Yeah. Yeah, um, why? We're surrounded by mountains. <laughs> then am I actually getting the benefits of even the pH? Sorry? Am I getting the benefits of the pH if I don't have the minerals in the water? No. I, I, I mean, okay, the benefits of the pH when it comes to your health, there is literally one benefit to the pH, and that is the pyloric valve, the valve that is inside your body that allows the water into your small intestine where it absorbs, it's pH sensitive. So the alkalinity opens that valve quicker, the water will absorb into your body quicker, but that's where the benefits end. And now for a lot of people that go from, go to and start drinking alkaline water, you will, if you went from drinking no water to drinking, you know, two, four, six liters a day, of course you're going to see the, the health benefits. Sure. That just makes sense. But when it comes to balancing the pH and, and you, know, you know, with the alkaline water, like a good example of this is the alkaline diet. The alkaline diet is very, very popular right, right, right now, right? Well, kale is a good you know, a, a big component of an alkaline diet. You juice kale and test, test the pH of it, I guarantee you, it comes out acidic. So it, the, the, you're becoming alkaline from that diet for reasons way outside of the pH of the foods that you're eating. It's what the foods are doing inside of your body that make the difference. A perfect, perfect example of this is... Uh, a good do-it-yourself alkaline water is lemon juice and Himalayan pink salt, right? Yeah. Well, basic, uh, you know, ba basic science tells us that the pH of lemon is very acidic. So how in the heck is that alkaline water? Well, lemon juice is full of what? Vitamin C. Vitamin C is what? An antioxidant. By reducing the oxidative stress, you're actually... Uh, getting to the root issue of why your body is is acidic to begin with. That's that's the key behind hydrogen. You're getting to the root cause of the issue. You know, it, I, I always use the, the the analogy of it. When you're drinking alkaline water, picture yourself cutting open an apple and letting it sit there for half an hour. What happens? It's brown. Exactly. So drinking alkaline water is like, like cutting the sliver of the, the apple off so you get fresh apple again, but you, you let it sit there for another half hour and you don't change the environment in which the apple is in. You let it sit there for another half hour, it's just going to turn brown again. Unless it, uh, you can cut that sliver. Uh, unless it's a GMO modified <laughs> apple, I cut it in the fridge and a week later that, that sucker still hasn't gone brown. That's a whole other story. <laughs> but all the more reason why you need to heal your gut. It's, it's things like GMOs, pesticides, glyphosate that has damaged our gut to the point where you need to supplement with hydrogen because it's not creating the hydrogen that you want and need. And so, you know, you, with alkaline water, like, you can cut that sliver of the, of the brown apple off all you want, but eventually you're going to run the apple. I mean, it's the same thing, and, and, and so the reason it's turning out both is because it's oxidizing. By reducing the oxidation and the oxidative stress, you're getting to the root cause of the issue. And, and, and going back to what I said about the lemon juice and with the alkaline water, a good way of preserving up apples is by squirting some lemon juice on it after you've cut it open. So, you know, it's, if you put these little pieces of the puzzle together, it's actually quite simple and easy to understand why the simplest and easiest and smallest element on the periodic table I've, I've seen has already been mentioned in the, in the comments here. It makes sense why it, it helps as much as it does. Not only is it the most basic element there is, it's part of 90% of all metal. Um, it, because of its molecular structure, 
it can get into areas of your body that other antioxidants like vitamin C simply cannot. So that's where it becomes really, really helpful with things like neurodegenerative diseases like Parkinson's, Alzheimer's, and dementia, and stuff like that. Due to the aluminum and barium and everything that's being sprayed into our skies, put into our food, into our water and stuff, Alzheimer's and dementia are at an all-time high. By reducing the oxidative stress up here and also helping repair your gut and, and remove these, these heavy metals and stuff from your body and also from the water that you're drinking makes a huge difference for, for you going down the road. You know, my, I lost my grandpa to Alzheimer's and my Nana to dementia. It was just the saddest thing that you can see. This is what gives me my passion and my drive to help people out so that they don't have to experience and end and, and their life like that. You know, they, it's, it's just no way so, to live. You, you're going to love this. Uh, we're in Mexico, the retreat center, and uh, a thing came up down here um, on one of the feeds or whatever. So. Mexico is now uh, banning uh, geoengineering in the sky. I saw yeah, that. Yeah, I know. It's like Mexico is banning it, but uh, Canada and the United States, not so much. It used to be the other way around. where You get all of the bad chemicals in, in Mexico or Latin America and all that. Yeah. And, we, and now it's in the United States. We've got all the, all the worst chemicals in our food, and other places are like kicking it up. I mean, here's a funny one. Russia is predominantly all organic. They have... Uh, uh, they banned glyphosate as an example, which is, wow. which is, again, it's crazy. It's like, we'll allow our people to be poisoned, uh, but other parts of the world are saying no. So, so, okay. So listen, um, we're getting the idea of how this works. Okay. One of the, one of the bigger issues that comes up all the time is, um, is that I, I'm now ingesting hydrogen. Uh, my body's starting to change. I'm clearing up free radicals. I'm going back up to 10 liters a day of hydrogen. If I'm drinking water, most likely and the body starts to produce because as I drink more hydrogen water, uh, then the body actually has more energy to produce more hydrogen. So it's, mm -hmm. um, so, so I, so I've got that in now, now the next part of it is, um, uh, is, is I've got my machine and the, like, for example, the machine we had previously in here stopped producing hydrogen when we tested mm -hmm. it. And why is that? Why do certain machines stop and why do other ones not? It's a great, that's a great question and, and something that, that I like to harp on a lot, but not a lot of people really understand why it's so important. Because, and it's, I, it's the most important thing because, you know, regardless of the ionizer that you're investing in, it's an investment. You want what you're investing in to continue to happen once you invest in it, right? I think it's fair to say that. Um, and so just a, a quick ionization 101 what happens to the water when it goes through the machine is it, get, it goes through the filtration it should be purified and uh, better be purified because it's going to absorb into your body quicker so the last thing you want are uh you know contaminants and and uh your glyph glyphosate and heavy metals and stuff like that but the the reason it's soft creating hydrogen is the the, the cathode attracts calcium and the second any calcium is scaled onto the cathode, and that can happen within a day, a week, a month, depending on the calcium levels in the water that you're drinking. That can happen very quickly, and then all the value in your investment is gone. And a lot of people from other companies don't really talk about that, and it's frustrating to me because I... Why is this one... So So what's different, okay? So what's different with your... Okay, so with your previous machine you need it comes with a few packets of e cleaner it's a citric acid solution that you need to clean your machine every two to three weeks tops um and so that just it becomes an extra job that you need to do and extra cost to order the e cleaner in and then on top of that you need to get that machine cleaned once a year at the head office so Hopefully there's a head office near you. Otherwise you're paying to ship your machine and take the time to ship the machine there and, and have it deep clean. It's a whole big, it will turn out to be a two to three week process that you're one without your water. And so two, you're probably not going to do it. That's the, that's what I recognize when I had my machine 
is one, everything that had started to go away, like my psoriasis, acid reflux, uh, and just not getting sick anymore, it all started coming back. And I realized, shit, I'm not getting any hydrogen that I thought I was getting. And so I was left in a position where I needed to find uh, a better technology if I wanted to stay in this market and can continue to educate people on this so they can experience the benefits themselves. So what do we do to prevent that? This is what allows your, this is what makes the, sets the Alcaviva machine apart is it has a, it's an acronym, acronym D-A-R-C, dark two cleaning system. And this allows, so every time you use your machine, the cathode and the anode switch. So while the cathode is attracting the calcium to the plates, the anode is repelling it. So by switching it, every single time you're eliminating the possibility of a calcium ever scaling to the, ca the cathode or the electrolysis plates. You're guaranteeing a longer lifetime production of hydrogen and you're guaranteeing the value in your, your investment space. Okay. I'll, I'll, I'll say that, that that's commensurate with what I see is that people have a lot of benefit usually when they get an ionizer and then over time the benefit starts to go away. Yeah. Uh, usually they drink more water that was because that was a healing mechanism. As you drink more water, what happens is the lack of minerals, they become more dehydrated over time, and then the problems start to get worse. So, so that, that makes a lot of sense. And, yeah. and I don't personally, uh, somebody asked you if the Alcaviva machine um, uh, does that, and we, of course it does. Is there a difference with the number of plates? Does that actually make a difference? Yeah, but you know, that, that's, a, that's a great question because it's, uh, there's, a, there's two sides to it. So the you know for 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 a lot of people that want to get an ionizer but you know maybe maybe budget is in the way a little bit the the melody 2 which is the um entry level model for alcaviva that has five plates now that machine will on a hydrogen level compete with the eight and nine plate machines it just can't get the ph up high enough so that you can use it for the high alkaline water when it comes to cooking and cleaning and stuff like that as well like as well as you can with the seven and nine plate ionizers that Alcaviva offers. Um, you can still most definitely use it for cooking and cleaning and, and stuff like that. It's just the, the strong alkaline waters, and we'll get into that a little, in a little bit here, is what removes the oil-based pesticides. You can't do that with Melody, but if you want a machine for your health, for purified water, for the hydrogen, the Melody is going to do just great for, for hydrogen production. Now, the difference between the plates, once you go up to nine, that's about, like, you, that's about the max that you need to go. You don't need to go over nine. There's other companies out there that have, like, 11 and 13 plates in the machine. And, and quite honestly, that's just a big gimmick. It's a, it's a big flex that doesn't need to be flexed um, because there's only so high of a pH that you're going to go. Uh, there's only so much hydrogen that you're going to get out of the purified H2O. There's only so much ORP, oxidation reduction potential, that you're going to get to. And so going oh, anything over nine plates from everything that I've seen is, is just a waste of money. So, yeah, it does make a difference. Um, when they are designed properly with the proper maintenance and whatnot, you don't, uh, uh, it will, it will create the, the hydrogen. But again, once, if you want those higher alkaline waters for cooking and, and removing the oil-based pesticides, that's where you would want to get the more plates. Okay. That makes a big difference. Okay. So, um, uh, now you, you had written down a few things. Let's, yep. uh, let, 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 let you, let's let you talk a little bit. Yeah. Well, let's, let's keep on the cooking part because I, I had just uh, actually I just made a post on H2 Water Expert. Uh, if you're not following me, go and, and check out the page. There's lots and lots of info on there and I'm, I'm continuing to come out with more and more. Just trying to stay and be creative with it. But I did a post about cleaning the uh, cleaning your vegetables and your fruits and vegetables with the with an ionizer. Now whether you know this or not, most glyphosate pesticides, herbicides, herbicides, it's all oil-based. The reason that is, is when the farmers spray it onto the vegetables, they don't want the, the water, the rain water to come in and wash that all off. Now, yeah, so, so 
when, when you can get the water to above the pH of 11, 11.5 is perfect, it will allow how you to saponify is the proper word to say, but emulsify and remove the oil-based pesticides. When you have the uh, when you have the the water and it's coming out and it's a strong alkaline water, you can actually feel the the oils even on your skin um, loosening up. And, and so you and then as we did in our last live video together, uh, you guys had three organic organically yeah. grown. Let's let's make sure that we understand they were organically grown tomatoes because we let those sit in the alkaline water for ten minutes and that water was a yellow green color and it's kind of alarming. You're like, oh, shit! I spent all this extra money for the uh, for the organic tomatoes and they're not as good as they thought they were. Oh crap! Um, but that's that's the whole point that you know when you have this machine at on your countertop or or below your counter at your fingertips you have an unlimited source of this water and one thing i do want to mention about the strong alkaline waters and strong acidic waters is other companies require a uh, an, elo an electrolysis solution to create that strong alkaline water and that becomes very detrimental to the quality of your machine over time it will degrade the quality, quality, it will degrade the platinum on the plates in the electrolysis chamber. And this allows for platinum nanoparticles to be getting into the water that you're drinking. And that is no bueno over a longer period of time. And so the Alcaviva machines, the Athena and Vesta, they can create that 11 plus water without any solution that has to go into the machine. That solution, extra cost, and also an extra inconvenience to to add into, uh, and you know, if you're out of that solution, then you're not creating that water, and you don't have those benefits. You would, that's I don't know about you, but for me, it, it, convenience is key, uh, especially when it's a, something as simple as drinking water, you know, and and, and water. It should be as simple as possible, uh, and that's why we we bring it back to the basics. So, um, using this. Strong alkaline water, though, to clean your vegetables and, and fruits. Your uh, rice, rice is another huge one. I, I wash, let let my rice soak in there uh, for 20 minutes to half an hour, and the water gets really filmy and gross. And then when you cook it, it just it tastes light. It and, yeah, it, it tastes so good. Um, so, so that th those are some of the other benefits. Those are you know, again, the only benefits that you're getting from the pH, that's the only pl place where the pH matters is outside of your body. Um, on the complete opposite of that, there's the acidic water, which was another big one when we did the live video. Yeah, I mean, listen, even, okay, so that, because we had, because we were we were down here in Mexico, so cleaners right there. So we brought the cleaners back, showed them how to use the, the, <laughs> the acidic water, right? I mean, they were using all natural cleaners beforehand, but we didn't have the acidic water. We didn't have the acid water. So they went to the mirror, and I showed them on the mirror, and the first thing they noticed is that the, all the streaks had gone, and the one that had been cleaned over and over and over again for two years. And they cleaned the streaks in the mirror in one shot, and that was uh, acidic level two. Uh, yeah. What actually, uh, so what, now when you say acid, here's a good question, is people say acid. And you can actually take the acidic water and you can actually drink it, like if you had stomach virus or if yeah. you had food poisoning. Food poisoning. So yeah. How is it different then? Why is it not burning a hole in my stomach? That's a very good question. And, and uh, to answer that, uh, it's, it's similar to why alkaline, alkaline ionized water, the pH doesn't matter at all. The pH that comes out of the, uh, out of the machine isn't buffering acids. In that same way, the acid isn't buffering alkaline substances. It's not going to burn a hole in your stomach or anything like that. The, so the key and the, the benefit to acidic water is very similar to alkaline water, where hydrogen is the benefit to alkaline water. Hypochlorous acid is the benefit to acidic water. And this is key because a lot of people from other companies will talk about their strong acidic water that's created with the electro electrolysis solution. You'll, you'll 
smell it, you know, like, oh yeah, no, it's, it's disinfecting and cleaning. Well, hypochlorous acid is odorless. So what you're actually smelling from that is chlorine and simply chlorine. Um, hypochlorous acid, that's, right? That's it. Whoa, that's actually a big one. Because yeah, I've had people say that, the smell. Yeah, because yeah. Yeah, HGA is, is actually odorless. Yeah, so yeah. Yeah, hypochlorous acid is odorless and it operates best at a pH of three to six and usually on the higher end of, of, of that. So when the other companies uh, you talk about their 2.5 pH acidic water, that's like talking about 9.5 pH alkaline water and saying that that's making a difference with your body's health. It's the same thing. The pH doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. It's the hypochlorous acid for the acidic water hydrogen for the alkaline water, those are where the actual benefits come from. So we have two settings on the machine we have. One of them is for basically skin, irritation, stuff like that. The other one's for cleaning. Um, let's talk about that. By the way, so Jordan uh, literally- I was gonna cut bring it up, up if you didn't. Cut, it, cut his thumb off, like literally cut it right there on the nail, cut the nail and everything. It was like popped off like this. We put it back on literally stuck it under the acid it cauterized it like amazingly and then uh and and i just and i literally covered it just taped it and let it go three days later he pops off and it, within a week it looked like uh it, it looked like he didn't even have a cut in the nail yeah. and it would cauterize so fast so tell us how that works so i mean in terms of the the, cauter the cauterizing and stopping of it it's it's more i, I don't have a, a real reason why it cauterizes it all i can say is by using that hypochlorous acid because hypochlorous acid has the ability to um to uh, kill e coli staph salmonella mrsa uh even covid within 30 seconds of contact so what i would say is it, it's taking the, the the energy load off of your body trying to kill any bacteria and and taking taking care of that first so that the body can just simply focus on cauterizing and stopping that wound and, and healing itself that's where i would see the true the the reason that it's cauterizing i would i'd like to say too that like uh, for from the benefits of having a machine like let's say you've got you know young kids that are that are running around and stuff well they're gonna be kids. They're gonna go outside and they're gonna run around and they're gonna fall and they're gonna scrape their knee. Well, when you have this machine, you have an unlimited source of a chemical-free, you know, uh, natural way of, of killing any bacteria. Anti that can, yeah, antimicrobial, antifungal, all at the same time. Yeah, and, 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 and what, was, really, what is really really cool about it is that is that when you take the uh, pH one, or sorry, the acid one, you put it on the face. Mm -hmm. It's like clear, clearing up makeup and stuff like that off the face immediately, yep. uh, which is really cool without damaging the skin. Yep. And, um, and then the other one too is uh, uh, the level two. Um, the ability like for, for, for something like MRSA, what right, happens is, is we'll often start, MRSA starts off as a, looks like a, looks like a infected hair. That's when you put it on, and, mm -hmm. and, and that's when it actually starts killing it. Because by the time it's in a wound, it's still going to help it. But, yeah. but it's amazing of that. Now, when you turn the water acid, how long does it actually last? Like, we put ours in a spray bottle. How long is that good for? So, again, it's not about the, uh, the pH staying the same. It's about it keeping the hypochlorous acid in it. Yeah. The hypochlorous acid will last for about a week. And so you can pour that, you know, that just get a, you know, every Sunday or whatever, refill the, the spray bottles with fresh acidic water and you'll be good to go. And question, if I was to take the machine and fill up my bathtub with 11.5 water and bath in it, what's likely to happen to me? I mean, I'm, I'm asking because I'm probably going to try it. Oh, I know, but I know you well enough that I know you're going to try that. <laughs> um, but you know, so there, you're going to get the highest amount of hydrogen. And, and, you know, again, being the smallest element on the periodic table, you're going to be able to, that's going to be able to permeate and, and break through the skin barrier. So, I mean, I've had, I've, I've, 
applied hydrogen water topically to sore muscles um, and, and injured muscles. Uh, like a few years ago, I tore my hamstring when I was running to first base playing ball. Using the water on that helped it heal so much quicker. Um, the downside, I would say to that potentially, is the alkalinity, is having it, you know, that high. That's, that's, that's a potential downside to it. I really don't see that being a, a huge yeah. issue because, again... I, I don't see it either, so it's worth a try, man. I mean, uh, okay. I've done worse things to my body in the past three years. <laughs> Ain't that the truth? Well, I mean, if you're concerned... So what I was going to say, if you're concerned about the pH being too high, just... Um, lemon. Just, yeah, lemon juice. How much in there. Just, That's a good question. So... One of the things uh, I, I've been practicing right now is I'll crank the pH up yep. and then I'll squeeze a bunch of lemon in. So what it is, I get the maximum amount of hydrogen and, and, the, and how much lemon am I supposed to squeeze in though? So like, a, like I said, eight ounce glass. You could, you could literally squirt in one drop. That's how much this alkaline water does not buffer uh, acids. You, one drop of lemon juice is going to completely neutralize so, that pH. So that's so that so this is why like like when I'm taking it therapeutically, I go right to eleven five. Yep. I put a little bit of because I don't want to be drinking eleven five necessarily. No, no, no. The, the, it's there. In fact, there is a study on my page that they talk about that. It is a uh, it's a tough one if you are selling for the other guys uh, because it really uh, debunks a lot of of what they're talking about, uh, especially when it comes to ORP and, and stuff like that. But the, the whole point is, is, is if the water is above 9.8 pH ionized or not, you don't want to be drinking it for longer periods of time. Can you drink, can you drink a glass of 11.5 pH water? Sure. Yeah. This is all you get off drinking that consistently. Yeah. The body's meant to adapt. I mean, it's like the, the acid water and the, you know, this is also what happens is a lot of time we eat food, especially from street vendors and stuff like that, is slightly contaminated. Mm -hmm. And I don't mean I don't mean like in a super bad way, you're not dying of a virus, but what happens is that bacteria is not just cohesive with you. And that's really what it is. Yep. And it causes an upset stomach. So uh, immediately drinking the acid water on either level one or level two, but level two I went one cup, six ounce cup of water. That's going to change immediately within minutes. That feeling that you have inside your stomach, that kind of uneasiness, yep. and stuff like that. Yep, absolutely. So, uh, so, so the so uh, we actually got some questions. People asked, uh, you know, where they could get the machines. Obviously, you can just message uh, message in through here. Just follow uh, follow H two Water Experts. Yeah. But you know, this is guys. The reason why we're having this, it's not about selling products here. Um, what this no. is a this in every way shape or form is is that uh through my through my life and through my experience and i and i'm a guy who also will follow science i will look at everything um you know i was i was actually got it i found a weak spot i i'll admit that i legitimately uh didn't understand the difference between the ph and the hydrogen and what was actually healing because i hadn't been in the industry for me it wasn't a focus but Getting back in here, we are we are in a purpose of debunking or demything a lot of the stuff that's going on. Like food is a fuel. No, it's not, and we can prove it. Yeah. Um, you can prove it yourself. And 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 just taking these these concepts that we base our life on and making and and poking holes in them until until they either they either stabilize or they bleed out. And what I found was what was interesting is is that. I mean, every single person talking to me about the pH of water, everybody, they come in and they're proud of their pH water intuitively. I'm like, something's not right. Mm -hmm. um, so, so it really, and that, this is one of the, the reasons why we're doing this is because we, when we went through the, the whole process of deciding which filter, we're, which ionizer we're going to buy, we landed off talking to Shane directly. And, then, and again, Shane didn't give us a machine. We buy it. And mm -hmm. we, because we bought it and we use it and we love it, we're sharing it with you guys today. It's changed our lives. By the way, you know what's really cool to do? Awesome. Is your 11.5 water, you put it in your soda stream, charge it up, mm. put it in the pyramid, put a couple drops of lemon in there, 
And then literally you've got a hydrogenated cocktail. You put that stuff in with a little bit of like gin or something like that. It's unbelievable what it does to bring out the flavors of whatever you're drinking. I put it with the orange juice. It tastes like the orange juice is on steroids. Have you guys made a, uh, have you guys made any soup broths or anything like that with you? Absolutely. Um, notice the difference in the taste of the soups, the uh, vegetables. Uh, coffee is a big thing. I, I don't drink yeah. coffee. Everybody else does. Um, what I did is I tested it by putting it in a smoothies. Um, I use coconut milk yep. and like, raw coconut milk down here. So what I did is I put it raw coconut milk. Then I put in two cups of, of uh, 11.5 water. Completely mm -hmm. different smoothie. So, I mean, and, not a, and it, w it wasn't just that it tasted better. It actually, there, there's a feeling that it's actually doing something. That's what I feel. That I actually. I made a post yesterday about bioavailability because that becomes a, a big conversation, especially with you guys in regard in regards to your supplements, right? You know, part your power, the power curve 30 is bioavailable because of the specific curcuminoid, the BDMC that you guys use sure. your fascial uh, flow. It, it absorbs better because of the glybia and that allows the Irish sea moss to, to absorb better. Well, when you use hydrogen, you're making, making everything more bioavailable with, with the supplements. In fact, if you're on a time release medication, you don't want to be taking that with hydrogen water as it will mess up the, the release of that uh, medication and it's going to deliver it into your body a lot quicker. So the same thing, like if you're mixing a protein shake or, or a, a pre-workout, if you have pre-workouts, anything supplement style, you're, you know, you're taking your, Two scoop pre workout and making a three making a three scoop pre workout and it also tastes way better to begin with because the, you know the pre workouts and stuff are are fairly acidic tasting. A lot of supplemental drinks are uh, have those that it it it'll take that bite away yeah. you know and it's it's same right. thing, same same the same thing with coffee tea. Um, so here, so actually, that's since that's you know my area of expertise. Let's talk about why people need water anyways, is uh, the majority of the population is dehydrated. Okay. It's very, very clear today. Um, they, um, you get a lot of people, when I went to school and when I studied the body, and I didn't go to, the, to school for the body, but um, so let's just clarify that. Um, but everything I ever studied about the body said the body was 80% water, but recently the textbooks are saying 65 to 70% water. Yeah. What we found is people are chronically dehydrated. We saw this clinically happening 12 years ago, and it's consistent. 88% of our patients were clinically dehydrated. We found that it was missing silica, and everybody, we started adding silica in, they started to hydrate again. So basically, um, people have spent a lot of money on water machines, and they're getting zero value from it because without having, uh, you're, you're breathing the air up here, you don't have silica in your body. Your silica is depleted. As your silica is depleted, you're not able to absorb the minerals, including the salts that you're bringing in. As you don't absorb the minerals, what happens, uh, you actually, you, the water comes in your body, but you either pee it out or you hold it, and it looks like fat, but it's not really fat. It's water, water. that's going to do something. Retention. Yeah. That water, I tell people that, that uh, you know, like, um, if you think about, about it, it's, it's oxygen and hydrogen. It's like... Uh, um, oxygen is the pa package is, or sorry, carbon dioxide is what tells that package where to go. It's the same thing with water. The minerals tell the water where to go. And we, we've also found that by taking like minerals, like basic minerals, like trace, then going to shilajit, then going to Irish sea moss, we could feel different tissues in our body hydrated because okay. there's, yeah, there's a, there's a, there's there's a whole bunch of minerals that we need in order to make everything work and all of our electricity work. So if you're not taking silica right now, um, if you're doing everything right in your life and you're just not getting feeling the way you think you should be feeling, most likely just take some silica and everything else starts working. And that's what our products are about. We don't want people also thinking you have to buy our products either. Uh, our fascial flow and fascial foundation are perfect, but Irish sea moss uh, or shilajit, uh, you can get those locally. A diatomaceous yep. earth, you can buy a bag, it'll last you like 10 pound bag, or I, we got a 20 pound. That thing will last us for like 10 years. Yep. And uh, super, super inexpensive. We do it for convenience. Um, uh, I still like the diatomaceous earth. I still drink it sometimes. I still also put it in the bath. But yep. one of the things is, is that I want more precise dosing when I'm taking it over longer periods of time. Yeah.
I, I before uh, meeting you guys, I had started actually taking diatomaceous earth like that. The timing of that was uh, quite interesting to me. But, um, you know, just drinking it and stuff like that, I didn't notice as big of a difference. But once I started taking the foundation, like I was, I, I was saying to my wife yesterday that, you know, like the, it's really working. Yep. I've noticed it with Sorry, my, your skin, your skin has changed. Yeah. It's my skin has changed. Yeah. It's getting healthier, more vibrant. Yeah. My hair, especially like it's, you can still see it's like receding a lot, a little bit here, but I remember the very first time that we talked on zoom, you're like, like, Oh, you know, we got a supplement coming out for hair loss. I, we hadn't even talked about hair loss yet at that point. I'm like, well, shit, that was, you see me seeing some stuff, but it's, 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 it's the, oh yeah, you can see it, but you, you get, it's like you said, the baby hairs are starting to grow back in. My hair is thicker because of that. And, and I do, I, I give your fascial foundation a, a huge um, reason behind why, why that's gotten better. It's just between your, the, the, those three supplements and the hydrogen, uh, and water with your maneuvers like you're you, you do that for for 28 days and like you said to me and like i've said to every single person that i've talked to about human garage and what you guys are doing your life is going to change and, and in the most amazing ways you know and and uh, it, it's and the cool thing is is like you said you don't need you don't need your supplements you yeah. should get I think every Everything needs to take silica or diatomaceous earth. Yep. Right now. And it's like yep. mandatory. I, it doesn't matter, man, woman, child, doesn't matter the age. Uh, yep. Everybody needs to take that, and it just makes everything else work and better for everybody right now. Yeah, um, I agree. So, we, um, uh, so basically, okay, so people, uh, we're going to sign off here, but people can ask. Mm -hmm. uh, they can, they, you're, you're very, very responsive. Uh, you'll talk to them about water, about the science of it. You've got all the backgrounds, any research that they need, you have posted on your uh, on your channel, or they can DM you for. Um, yes. And I, I, I get this is the reason why we're having the conversation and we're having Shane on uh, multiple times is because this is a message that needs to be heard. Right now, the world's really, really in trouble, um, and you, you're not going to be able to breathe and yoga your way out of. And I don't say that with disrespect. I mean that with all respect. Mm -hmm. We need everything right now. We need we right now. We need our we need uh, the supplements or the basic minerals, which you can get inexpensively wherever you are. Uh, you need movement. You need uh, you need a focus or practice, whether it's yoga or meditation or it's fascial maneuvers. You need those things right now, and you need the combination of them. And yep. you don't need to be paying people expensive a lot of money for stuff. This is all stuff you can do by yourself. Yep. Absolutely. I mean, it's there. There is no cookie cutter solution. Let's make, let's get that straight. But there are some basics. There are some foundations to your health that a lot of people are missing. And silica is, I think, one of the biggest missing components, um, as well as just being hydrated properly. Uh, and then from there, you know, it's it's kind of funny once you start going down the path of uh, you know balancing and fixing in your health it just that all starts to work itself out it's a process though understand that just like there's no cookie cutter solutions there's no overnight fixes you're going to notice some pretty quick changes once you start implementing these things into your life but don't expect to just you know get the water machine and have a glass of water and all of a sudden you're all you know you're healthier than you've ever been you will start to get healthier you will notice a difference but give it some time you know um, you know, no. honestly, um, uh, we brought the machine in. Uh, you could see the energy levels increase in some people right away. So that, that just shows you how, how far out of balance they were. You, you, yeah, you can't it really. It depends. It's, a, it's an individual thing. It's an internal job. But, yeah, you can see some, some you know, noticeable differences. But I'm, I'm talking the lifetime changes, you know. I want to see, see people – actually have some, their their life changed in in one way or another and you know like i said just the movements hydrogen and, and the trifecta of supplements that you guys have it's just your life would be a whole different uh different life in no time um okay, I so do want to, Machine, but, uh, we're gonna we're gonna sign off i just want to let everybody uh know that if you have any questions uh, go to h2 water experts uh give them a follow uh, ask them directly. They'll give you the science. Uh, Shane will. 
Um, and as East Coast Community Bank, this is uh, uh, H2 Water Experts is our partner. Uh, we're, we're partnered with them because they're maintaining the service levels, answering the questions, and making sure that you get exactly what you need. Um, we did buy, we purchased our, our machines from them. Uh, so happy we did. Thank you, Shane. I appreciate your time today and appreciate all the help in the community. We have nothing but great fee feedback coming back from all the work that you've been doing. Uh, that's awesome. I'm so glad to hear that. And thank you for having me on here. I'm looking forward to our next chat. And yeah, like you said, if, if anybody that's here that has any questions at all, any questions that you have, literally uh, you just message me and, uh, and I'd be happy to help you. Hey, awesome, Shane.